far as Sioux Center, they necessarily weren't at the top of most preseason picks to make it to state. But with a revenge win over Esterville Lincoln Central in the 3A regional final, the Warriors would notch their second ever trip to Fort Dodge, becoming a group de destined on defined expectations. And in doing so, they become a team that's hard to ignore. And their offense, offense has done the work to prove their case, scoring 69 runs through their last 10 games, allowing under 40 runs in the same span against a stifling 3A competition teams. Ella John and Willow Bleeker continue to be key contributors at the plate, while two-way junior ace Tatum Schmalbeek has dazzled at the dish and on the bump. But the team isn't getting caught up in how they got there. Rather, they're shifting their focus as to how they can translate that prior success at state. When we just talk about postseason. It doesn't matter what record it is. Everyone's zero and zero. And so just showing up every game and putting our best foot forward. We all know that this is bigger than a game and we're a family. So when you play as a family, then big things can happen. Kind of our theme and our message has been this season not to worry about who's in the other dugout, but do what we do and focus on our strengths and where we can excel and kind of focus on that and not um, get too overwhelmed with the opponent. And we're hoping to go down to Fort Dodge and keep that same mindset. A mindset put to the test next Tuesday with Warriors opening 3A quarterfinal play with Williamsburg. First pitch in Fort Dodge set for 11.30 a.m.